bought a place, land, secluded. I thought it'd be private, no neighbors, nobody anywhere to be seen. Shortly after we move here, I start seeing signs. I don't think we're alone. We set up some surveillance cams, search parties, did some research, and it turns out we're not alone at all. Howdy, neighbor. After some of the research we've done, things we've seen and heard, I have to suspect that this thing is of alien ancestry or I don't think it's of this earth. Look, I know there are a lot of rumors going around about me, but no, I am not an alien. I may be of alien descent. I don't know. I haven't done Ancestry.com. What I do know is that I am somewhat related to the Chewbacca. The thing has no boundaries. Uh, we go to go hunting the other day and dude sitting in my tree stand. That's against Hunter's Log. You don't use another man's tree stand without permission. The other day I'm looking, he's checking his mail. He gets freaking mail here, man. What kind of subscriptions does he have? Alien Sasquatch Quarterly? He's taking trips to the store. It has a freaking car. How's he driving? I'm not even sure it's legal to drive with feet that big. I believe we should be looking into it. Honestly, it's tough being me. I mean... <laughs> Few people can understand the struggle. Maybe the Kardashians, you know, I don't know. But when I go out, I have to go out in disguise, incognito. I can't just go out dressed as me. I'm a local celebrity, so I have to stay undercover. A few of the terrible things about having a Sasquatch as a neighbor, it feels like the thing is always watching us. I mean, I'm not sure. Does he have alien technology that allows him to see through our walls and see what we're doing? I mean, those are questions I'd like answered, personally. Even when he's not there, you can smell him. It's like he's still there. It smells like he's taking a bath in my septic tank or something. You know, it's just not right. I mean, the smell and the personal hygiene comments really get to me. I shower every day. I use a lot of product, a lot of different products. I mean, I wash my clothes, I hang them up on the clothesline so I can get that nice, fresh smell of nature in there and all everybody does is make fun of my stench. I just don't get it. And I'll see that thing running away from my house like he's been doing something. I haven't figured out what yet, but he's up to something. I'll tell you that right now. So my plan now, I'm going to build a barrier. They can stay on their side of the barrier. I'll keep my stench on my side of the barrier. You don't want to smell me? Stay away. I go to start getting materials for it and what have they done? They cut down on my trees already. The other day I saw him running away. I'm pretty sure he's in the outhouse. I go out, and let me tell you something. I checked it. My lambs. Something, nothing could have come out of, a, of an earthling that looked like that. You know, I've seen them looking at me funny. It seems like they think I'm using their outhouse, but that outhouse was there. That's my outhouse. My special place where I go to do my business in the quiet and seclusion of nature. I can't resist myself when they're not home. I go over there and totally mess with that weird little smelly rat thing they have. You know, I don't know what the heck it is with that animal. Every time they let him outside, he comes over here to my house, into my property, has to come over and try to visit with me, wants to sit in there and watch TV with me. I don't get it. Uh, the other thing is the dog. My dog has always wanted to go outside. I let him outside. He comes back half hour, 45 minutes later, and he smells just like the stench of that thing. Holiday season's coming up. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna go out of town. I'm gonna get together with some relatives I haven't seen in forever and even meet some new ones. I mean, honestly, how much worse can it get? Oh, you gotta be kidding.